This is an introduction to the gases lab. If you would like more details on what I talk about in this video, check out our gases lab videos on Vimeo. To get started in the gases lab, you need to select an experiment from the stock room. So either an experiment where you're focused on volume, temperature, pressure, or our balloon experiment, which is the most popular. So let's go ahead and look at the balloon experiment. Once you've selected an experiment, you need to select some gases. So either select from the real gases or the ideal gases, and note that with the ideal gases, it lists the molecular weight of the gas on the tank, whereas it, with the real gases, it only lists the molecular weight if it is an ideal gas. Otherwise, we trust that you chemists can figure it out. So let's select CO2. If I want to, I can open the valve here, and if I were to increase flow, you would see the number of moles starts to increase and the balloon starts to fill up. I could also, if I wanted to, just simply click on the arrows up or down here and adjust the moles as I would like to there. If I close the valve and I return the tank, you'll note that I can no longer change the number of moles. It is now fixed in the balloon. So now if I want to adjust the temperature or the pressure and see how it might affect the number of moles or the volume of the balloon, then I can learn this way by doing this experiment. If you mess up your experiment and the balloon pops or your apparatus breaks, go ahead and just click the reset button where you'll be able to adjust your lab. You'll notice we can't adjust the moles because we moved the tank. So let's add another gas here. We'll open the valve and, oh, too much. So we're gonna reset, do 0.1 moles, and then you can continue with the lab. Note that the reset button up here simply resets the gas inside the respective experiment chamber. If you click the reset button here, it completely resets the lab from scratch. On the uh, system tray here, you can see the live data. So if we were to open up the experiment again, this is where the live data lives. We can save the data, and then as we adjust the data and stop saving, it is saved to our lab notebook. Uh, you can access the presets from Beyond Labs your saved labs, you can save a lab as your own preset or click clear lab, which does the same thing as the reset lab button there. Uh, that is an introduction to the gases lab. Again, if you would like more information about any of these experiments, go ahead and check out our other videos.